I welcome you all to the Doom that is part 54 of my Pokemon Crystal playthrough. And, um, not a whole lot to say, not a whole lot to do. Well, actually, yeah. I'm just gonna clear out this path up here, um, because you might as well do it eventually. Sure, I could fly to places and, you know, do that kind of jazz and not even, you know, go to this path at all, but, you know... If I'm going to actually do red, I need all the experience I can get, so I'm just going to uh, do this path. So anyway, um, yes, this is uh, Birdkeeper Roy, who has a Fero, and Fero is um, easily annihilated. Um, let's try headbutting. Yeah, dies to a headbutt. That's pretty pathetic. Um, pretty pathetic level Fero. Here's another one. Um, let's go into Quack so I can Ice Punch. Why the heck not? And wow, this fear is actually level 35, so it's only about 10 levels lower. No, actually, it's 9. But, um, yeah, Ice Punch will still kill it, I'm guessing, yep. So, um, that's a dead Fero, and a defeated Roy. Okay, so anyway, let's put someone else at the front of the party, someone who is level 44, and Tony fits the, um, you know, requirements of that. And a fat person wants to battle me, and let's see what he has. Alright, this, uh, Pokey fan, Trevor, has Psyduck. Yay! Alright, so... Yeah, I guess I'll just bite it. Um, it's not quite dead, but I did flinch it, which is nice. So, um, another bite will do it, and that was one of the most pathetic trainer battles I think I've ever fought. Um, Trevor, you're absolutely pathetic. You only have a Psyduck. Alright, so let's see what this woman wants up here. And, of course, I get a wild encounter. Night of Rena. And I have no desire to fight you, so goodbye. Um... I do not have a Chansey, <clears throat> and if I did, I would definitely trade it for an Aerodactyl, because at least Aerodactyl is a homosexual. Okay, um, so here is another fat person. <clears throat> another Poke fan, Carter. Oh, and this is the guy that has the uh, three starters from Red, Blue, Yellow. I do remember this guy from uh, previous playthroughs. So, yeah, Flame Wheel should KO the Bulbasaur without any trouble. And actually, Tony should be able to deal with, you know, all of these guys. So I'll just leave um, him in to do it. Um, so Bite should deal with the Squirtle. It's going to be a 2 at KO, and I got another flinch, which is good. Um, and Bite is going to finish it. And um, his last should be uh, Charmander. And um, I think I'll take the Charmander down with Bite as well. Or actually, no, let's use Takedown for the lulls. And Takedown will take it down. Ho, ho, ho. All right. Good game, Carter. So, walking up this way, um, oh yes, the inconveniently placed, I think, trash cans. I'm not really sure what these things are. I'm guessing they're trash, that's what they look like. But, you know, I guess they could be poles. Either way, you have to wonder, who set them up like that? And why, why has no one changed it since red, blue, yellow? But I don't know. Anyway, this guy's a sand slash, which I'm killing, and the rest of his guys, I think, are gravelers. So, um, yeah, let's go into Victory Bell, and Victory Bell should be able to just destroy these things with Giga Drain. And there's the first one, um, who dies. And, um, let's see, here's a second Graveler. <clears throat> and I'll kill this one too. Um, dead Graveler. And the next Graveler should also die. Sorry, Golem. Okay, so the last one's a Golem. So he actually has one respectable Pokemon. Too bad it's also going to get one-hit KO'd by Giga Drain. And that's a dead Golem, and Flower Power wins. Alright, good game, Kenny. So yeah, I don't understand these trash cans at all. I mean, why why would they be placed like this? I just don't understand. And furthermore, why can't I just, like, you know, squeeze through one and go over there, which no one knows what's up there? But, I don't know. Okay, so, Nido King... Is a cool Pokemon, but it's going to die. Um, Flame Wheel should nearly kill it, or kill it. Yeah, nearly kills it. And, of course, why does everybody who uses Poison Sting against me always gets the, uh, you know, Poison? Sorry, yeah, Poison Sting. Just so annoying. When I use Poison Sting, I never get it. And crap, why didn't I bite? That was a misclick. I would have killed it with a bite, of course. And now I was going to get a Water Gun. Alright, um... Alright, so Bite will KO the Slow King. And, um, yeah, Sea King is left. Alright, so I'll Bite this. And, um, we're gonna be a 2 at KO, and of course I didn't get the flinch. That's kind of annoying. Um... 
berry, whatever. I'll uh, bite, and of course, not gonna be a 2 KO either. Please don't kill me. Yes! Ah, uh, win! Okay, so, um, Tony survives, and now I need to heal the crap out of it. So, here we go. Um, full heal first to get rid of the poison. And, um, wow, I definitely meant to use a super potion twice, in fact. Um, so, super potion twice, and, um, let's continue. So, here's a, another fat person. Oh, God. This isn't who I think it is, is it? Oh, my. Okay, so, um, yeah, I think I'm gonna increase the speed of this by a little. Um, yeah, there's just, yeah. I have no desire of, um, watching myself kill Pikachus at, um, that slow speed. So, yeah, respin there, you gotta watch a Pikachu, uh, Pikachu slaughter for the ages, all in fast motion. Uh, I think Victory Bell will be able to do it with acids, that's what I'm going to do. Look at all the Pikachus as they, they, ca they get hit by the acid and they just get burned and destroyed and stuff. Uh... Slaughtering Pikachus is always something that is worth doing, that's what I always say. Okay, so anyway, um, here's the last Pikachu, and after this I'm going to um, put the speed back to normal, but I just couldn't let um, myself watch the Pikachu slaughter happen in real time. Alright, so going the speed back to 200%, which is what I've been playing on the whole uh, entire walkthrough, and um, yeah, there's two people up here that I have to fight. Um, so let me switch somebody to level 44 to the front of the party. And here is the first of the bird catchers. Okay, so um, this guy has a far-fetched. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Um, let's see how much acid does. Probably is going to be a solid 2 at KO. And it is. And fear attack is not threatening in the slightest. So another acid will take down the far-fetched. And um, flower power almost levels up. Oh well. And the next bird catcher has, um, let's see, the next bird catcher happens to have, uh, Pidgeotto, which should be able to be 2 KO'd by the acid as well, so let's do that. Um, so here's acid, and it's a 2 KO. Gust is super effective, but it still doesn't do a whole lot. And acid is a dead Pidgeotto, and flower power levels up, so pretty sweet for me. Um, and here's another Fero. um... Sure, I'll go back into uh, Quack for the Ice Punch, and um, Ice Punch should KO the Firo, and it does. So, um, yeah, Brett is defeated. Brett Favre, just kidding. Um, Honeycomb will go to the front of the party, and um, yeah, let's go down this route. Ooh, an item. Let's pick it up. Uh, calcium. I believe that raises something. I just don't remember what, so let's just use it. Um, calcium raises the special, so actually I think, uh, Tony needs more special, so I'll use it on him. And, um, yeah. Tony is very special. Anyway, um, yes. A Fisher. A Fisher, 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 Fisher. And he has a Gyarados. And, um, Gyarados is not, you know, does not have Intimidate, so I'll just go for the Sludge Bomb, because this is Gold, Silver, Crystal. While the Sludge Bomb is still physical, and, um, Gyarados does not have Intimidate. So, sweet, I can just probably Sludge Bomb these things for the kill. And, um, wow, the Gyarados actually survived, and I got a Poison, which is kind of nice, I suppose. But unfortunately, he is able to get a Dragon Dance off on, or sorry, a Dragon Rage off on me, which always does, uh, damage equal to, you know, I don't know. It is 30 damage, regardless. So, um, yeah, Sludge Bomb is going to, uh, K... Yeah, almost KO again again, and he does get another poison hacks, which is good for me. But um he's able to do quite a bit of damage to Honeycomb, poor Honeycomb. So yeah, Gyarados the Gyarados guy is defeated and um here's some random house. Um the fishing guru's younger brother. Sure. Um yeah, yeah super rod. I'm never going to use it. Haha, -ha, I'm never going to use your gift. What a loser. Okay, so yeah, fat person over here. And, um, probably, yeah, another Fisher. And he has Magikarps. Oh, yay. Um, let's try to kill this one. And that is a dead Magikarp, not surprisingly. Um, and here's another Magikarp. I really hope this guy doesn't have all Magikarps. That would make this a really boring match. Um, Twin Needle, um, will kill a Magikarp. His next Pokemon is a Quillfish. 
Actually, I don't think I have a way to super effective this quillfish, considering it's a poison type as well as a water type. Yep, not very effective. And he's gonna harden, which is annoying, but hopefully such bomb can KO anyway. Maybe? Yes, it does! So quillfish is dead, and honeycomb levels up. Sweet. Alright, and a Tentacruel, who's another water poison, so um, I'll go into Zatu, who is a Psychic type, and Psychic will completely annihilate this thing. So, here's a Psychic, and there's a dead Tentacruel. So, there you go. So anyway, I don't think I have a whole lot of time um, left in this video, um, so I'm just going to save and complete it next time. So, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.